Hey everyone, welcome back to The Other Soul. I hope you're all well. So if you watched Concert Throwback episode six, I believe you would have known that I first came across Ego LMA when I saw Napalm and she was supporting her. This was back in like 2017 and I remember being blown away by her and became a fan of her ever since that concert. So then to see her perform at her headline show, it was everything. I'm just so happy for her. And then back in 2020, I was supposed to go and see her live for free actually at South Bank with one of my colleagues. And then towards the end of the meal, I realized that I completely got the times wrong and we basically missed her whole set. I felt so bad for my colleague, I was like, I'm so sorry. But luckily she was really calm about it. But yeah, we literally saw her for like two minutes, so that was annoying, it was my fault. Ugh. Never again, just need to make sure that I check the times properly. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Luckily we didn't pay for it, but yeah, that was still annoying. And then yeah, here we are today. And this is my first concert since February, 2020. So it's been a long time. I'm used to going to concerts like quite regularly. So to have a long break, I don't know, I guess when people would always ask me like, oh, how are you feeling about lockdown? I'd always be like, oh, I just wanna go to concerts. But then at the same time, I feel like I kind of adapted because we had no choice. So there was nothing that we could do. And I think the fact that I was doing my concert throwback series is really helped because like doing the videos, watching them back, prepping for them, it was like I was just reliving the moment all over again. So it kind of felt like I hadn't really missed anything even though I wanted to get back. But yeah, it was just so nice to be back at concert again. Ego LMA definitely deserves more recognition. When I would tell people that I'm going to see her, they'll be like, oh, I've never heard of her or who's that? And I had to put them on. And I feel like she just deserves more recognition. More people need to know who she is. And I think she's so, so talented. It's just that people simply don't know her. So I think that's why the power of sharing is not to be underestimated. Like it's really important that if you see something that you like, share it with people who you think will like it as well, or just share it to the people around you and like your associates, cause you never know who might like it. And speaking of sharing, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. I just know that Ego LMA's recognition will come. It's just a matter of time and it will happen. And I can't wait to see her career skyrocket even further. It's what she deserves. So the venue was a mirror and this was my first time there so it was like it was even more special because it's like my first concert back different venue different vibes different settings and it's a really nice venue it's very small but intimate and i like how they had an elevated area as soon as i walked in and i saw the kind of elevated area i was like i'm going there because then i can see like the whole crowd and how they interact and i just love that view when you can have like a really nice overview of what's going on i think i've said that in other videos as well i'd always recommend that like if there's an elevated area that you can see and you're not blessed in the height department like me, I mean, I like being short, but yeah, always go to the elevated area because you get a really nice overview. But then again, it's your preference. If you like being in the front, if you like being in the crowd and not really being able to see, then that's your own. You gotta do what's best for you. Tony Supreme was playing tunes. He really set the mood right, he came correct. And when he played a song by Hiatus Coyote, I was thinking, oh, it's just so funny how the first time that I saw Ego LMA was at a Napalm concert, who's a member of Hiatus Coyote, and then now I'm at Ego LMA's concert, and then they're playing Hiatus Coyote. Tony put me onto some new songs as well. I'll put them on the screen. When Tony played Cruise by Shreta, or Shreta, I'm not sure how you pronounce her name, the way he mixed that in from the Hyatt's Coyote song was so smooth. And then I also clocked that that song Cruise, I think it's the same um, beat as Intercar Badu by Logic and I think Wiz Khalifa. Cause as soon as I heard that song, I was like, this beat sounds familiar. I think it is the same. And then there was also one song that he was playing. It sounded like they'd sampled parts of Anita Baker's Angel, but I tried to Shazam it and it wasn't picking it up. And then I tried to look on who sampled really quickly as well, but I couldn't find anything. So I don't know if I didn't look properly. So if anyone knows what I'm talking about, please let me know what song that is in the comment section. And then another song that he played was by Kadeem Tyrell and Omar. And then I think I have heard that song before, but then I don't think I was feeling it. But then when I heard it at Amira, when he was playing it, I was like, actually, like this song so I added that to my Apple Music library. 
Sara has a lovely voice. I definitely recommend checking out her music. I would have loved to have heard her live with a full band though, because I wasn't really feeling the piano parts at some points. And when Ego revealed on her Instagram that Sara was supporting her, I went to go check out her music and I really liked what I heard. There was a song that Sara was performing where some of the lyrics were like, let me be lonely, I choose to be alone. And the introvert in me was like proper feeling that. I was like, yes, I can relate, you better sing. <laughs> I didn't know how much I needed to hear that song live in the flesh, live and direct. And just to be back in a concert environment and hearing the whole crowd sing along in unison, like I missed that feeling so much. It was so nice. Just pure good vibes and energy. And Marla did her thing on that bass. She is so talented, she's sick. And I just love the way how everyone got gassed. I was like, come on. And it's so nice to see a woman bassist. Out of all the concerts I've been to, I don't think I've ever seen a woman bassist. I mean, I've seen them in like concert footage that I've watched of other people like, Chloe and Hallie, I know they tend to have like a whole woman band. Beyonce has like a bassist as well. So I've seen like the odd few artists that have them. But I feel like we need to see more women bassists. And I've said this in other videos as well. Bass is like my favorite instrument. And then to see a woman kill it on top of that, I'm just like, yes sis, you better, you better, you better play that thing. There was one point in the show where the band and Ego walked off and usually I don't fall for it. I'm like, I know you're coming back. But this time I was like slightly shook. I was like, wait, are they actually going or are they coming back? Cause I was like, this can't be over. I'm not ready to go home. And then people were shouting, table four one, table four one. And I was just adding ad libs. So when people were like, table four one, I was like, hey. So it's like, table four one, hey, table four one, hey. And then they came back out and performed other songs including Table for One, it was such a vibe. The whole night was such a vibe. It was great to hear Table for One live with a full band as well because when I first heard her when she was supporting Nay, she performed Table for One and that was the song that stood out for me. It was like stuck in my head. Like if someone says Ego LMA, that would have been the first song that I think of. So it was great to see her perform that live again, but this time with a full band. I did love the acoustic version though, that's sick as well. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you do. I only have one Lexa Moore song on my Apple Music library and that's the song that she features on with Alpha Miss but I definitely need to check out more of her stuff. I love the way that she sounded on the beat on the song that she performed with Ego Ella May and I love her diction and Ego was really complimentary of her before she came out as well. So it's good to see that camaraderie within the industry. <laughs> So before Anais came out, Ego was saying how this next girl has a really angelic voice. So I was like, okay, I'm expecting something good, but nothing could have prepared me for what I heard. Her voice, oh my God, so beautiful. Such a breath of fresh air, like, oh, it's just so nice. I was like, you better sing, like, oh. 
I just can't get over it. Like, I think that was one of my favorite moments from the entire night. Like, she bodied that. I'm definitely gonna check out more of Anais's music now, and I would love to go and see her perform at her own headline show. That would be dope. <laughs> I almost didn't recognize Maverick Saber at first because I'd forgot how he's changed. And then these are the thoughts that was running through my head in like a matter of a few seconds. And then I clocked that it was him. So I was thinking, okay, give a little's playing and some man has just come on stage. What was the remix to Give A Little that just came out recently? It's featuring Maverick Sabre and Blue Lab Beats. Who's one of the special guests that you wanted to come out? It was Maverick. And I was like, oh my God, it's Maverick. And then I just clocked. I was like, oh my God. I feel like my inner teenage self was really happy that I got to see Maverick perform. He has such a nice voice, stunning, stunning, stunning voice. I used to listen to Maverick Sabre heavily when I was in secondary school. Songs like I Need, Sometimes, Let Me Go, those songs were on repeat throughout secondary school. I really wanted MV to come out and then for them to perform I Hope We Never Break Up. That would have been sick. But let me not be greedy because we were treated with a lot of cool guests. And look at me raving the way I was raving about Anais. Like, imagine if only the guests I wanted showed up, I wouldn't have got to hear her. So everything happens for a reason and I'll be seeing Emma V in September. So who knows, Ego could come out then, fingers crossed. But yeah, I'll see Emma V in September anyway, so it doesn't matter that she don't come out then. I love that Ego introduced her band, gotta give credit where credit is due. So you had Ben, who was the guitarist throughout the whole kind of concert pretty much. He kept on going like this and you couldn't really hear him. And then I remember at one point um, he was having like a guitar solo and you could tell from the way he was playing and like the little bits that I could hear that he was actually very skilled, but the sound quality was just so poor that you couldn't appreciate it in its full glory. So I felt really bad for him, but it was only his sound that was messed up for some reason. I don't know how that is. Just technical difficulties maybe, I guess. And when Ego was introducing Ben, someone from the crowd said, Ben could get it. And then Ego repeated what they said. And that's how like the rest of us like further back could hear. And I was just laughing. I found that so funny. Love the confidence. And then funnily enough, I ended up meeting the girl who said that after the concert. So shout out to you. She was so nice. And then you had Marla who was on bass. You know how I feel about Marla. Killed it amazing and then you had um sam on drums i really like the drums as well he was so talented and then you had amane on keys he was dope as well and he was also the musical director so shout out to him because he would have had obviously a big involvement in what we saw like he is essentially responsible for what we saw that night the whole band was on point it was just a shame that ben's sound was messed up Ego is so lovely. Just before she finished her set, she welcomed everyone to come and meet her backstage by like the merch area to get merch, get merch signed, um, get a picture, all of that good stuff. So yeah, after the concert, I ended up getting a picture with her and talking to her. And oh, I just need to learn how to take good pictures when people are taking them of me. I feel like I just become so hyper aware and then I just like look crazy. <laughs> I just look awkward. But when I'm by myself taking pictures and videos and stuff like that, I'll be doing up America's Next Top Model and the pictures will come up good because obviously I'll be taking like loads. But obviously when someone's taking a picture of you, you can't be doing like options. <laughs> and then one of the professional photographers took a picture of us as well. So I hope I don't look crazy in that. If any of the photographers are watching this, by the way, or if anyone is watching it and knows who they are, please let me know their socials in the comment section and I'll put it in the description box. Ego is just so amazing live. The first time I saw her, she killed it. Second time was just sensational. If you haven't seen Ego LMA live, you need to. Watching my video, watching other people's videos, 
watching the live performances that Ego has uploaded on her platform is not enough. Like, if you have the opportunity to go and see her, I would definitely recommend it. Like, you need to experience it live in the flesh. If you haven't heard her before, let me know if you do end up listening to her and what songs you like. If you were at the concert, let me know what your favorite song was. What was your favorite performance? Who was your favorite special guest? Who was your favorite band member? Yeah, just let me know what you thought of the whole night. The crowd was just fine like good energy and good vibes i hope you guys like this video please like comment subscribe and share and also stay tuned for part two because that will just be the full concept footage that i have I'm thinking to like split it up now so with the concept throwbacks i'll just do it all in one video but with these current concepts going forward i think i'm just gonna split it part one part two so part one will be my commentary and little clips of footage and then part two will be like the whole concept footage with no interruptions thank you so much for watching bye